was just thinking about God. How good he is and how amazing he is and how incredible and how how humble. How humble God is. You know, and I was asking God, Lord, I, I wanna be more like you. I wanna I wanna be as humble as you. I wanna really like the really deep things that you like and the things that you enjoy. Because there, there is so much of ourselves that we have to give to God fully from our hearts. We have to just, Lord, here it is, here is everything. Just receive it. Take it. I don't need it. Just give me from you. Give me of you, Lord God. Give me everything that you have to offer. Just, Lord, he did it at the cross already. But by believing, Lord, I believe I want everything that you are, Lord, character-wise. I, I believe it's personally almost impossible. But... I was watching a video of bodybuilding, right? And I see these people extremely muscular and so strong, and, right? Start like that physically. And I go to my room. And God, God was giving me a dream. He was telling me to go to grass. You know, and, and here on this other side, he's man, like he's just focusing on, I got to get so much muscles and I got to get so strong and I got to win this competition, that or the competition, I got to do this and do that. And God is, we're talking about infinite being. We're talking about omnipotent, all-powerful, omniscient. All knowing, omnipresent, always present, God. <laughs> right? And here God is like, you know, let's say people, let's preach the gospel, my people, let's keep preaching so others are saved. Right? And, and man is like, you know, it's just, it's just, just go try and win a trophy. <laughs> let's eat. Let's eat better. Let's lose some weight, okay? Which is not a bad thing, right? But we make these things. Our whole life just boom. Is I'm gonna focus on this and do it. This is my whole life, you know. And God comes to the world. He lives a perfect life for us. Tempted in all things here without sin. He goes to a golden cross, suffers for us, dies, resurrects from the grave. And he tells us, go into the world, preach the gospel. You know? And I think the reason why we're like that is because of how we've been so exposed to the world, how we've been too, how we've been too, how we have been too exposed to the darkness that we cannot fully see the reality of God, who He is, His desires, His character, His longings. It's difficult for us to see that, you know. And I finished watching that video, and as I'm coming, you know, the little hall there, corridor, and I get to my room, here in my house, God reminds me of the dream that He showed me yesterday. That I was just, He told me, that was my physical pastor from church, 
which is just basically how God speaks to me. He's like, I'm the good shepherd, I'm your pastor, telling you to go cut the grass. This grass was really cut like that, like close to the neck of the blade of the grass, right? The guy's like, cut it. And I was removing the grass with the wood from the ground. I was removing this dry grass with this uh, rake. I was chop, 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 taking the grass out of there. And I'm like, God is so humble. <laughs> He's telling me, look at this. Uh, dead grass, just remove it. You know, get the rake and just remove it, right? And I'm thinking about that. It, it is incredible, you guys. The things that God likes and, and the things that He desires. And how separated the world is from God. And to me, it's shocking. I think the only way for us to view it is just black and white. People are separate from God, so therefore they're going to do all these things. And those that are below to God, they're able to perceive what's happening. So, anyways, God bless you guys.